Statements now underway in the trial of CMPD officer Philip Barker. He's accused of hitting and killing James Michael Short in 2017 while on his way to a call in Uptown. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane joining us outside of the courthouse this morning. And Richard, the prosecution and defense are trying to paint two different pictures of what happened that night. Absolutely correct. One, the defense is saying that their client was innocent doing his job, while the prosecution is saying that his job did not involve speeding and violently striking and killing someone who was just walking. This case is about this defendant's actions, his criminally negligent actions. Two sides of the night in 2017 when CMPD officer Philip Barker struck and killed 28-year-old James Short, who was crossing Moorhead Street. Opening statements Thursday in Barker's involuntary manslaughter trial. Prosecutors say that Barker was speeding, showing jurors Barker's body cam video. The 24-year-old with one hand on the steering wheel as he drove to a call, slamming into Short. He ended Michael Short's life instantaneously in an extremely violent crash that dismembered Michael's body. Prosecutors say Barker was speeding, going about 100 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. His defense team laying out its case, telling jurors the 24 year old rookie officer was doing his job, following protocols, and Short was illegally crossing the street on a red light. Priority one, which under CMP guidelines is, get there within six minutes. They also plan to point out or show evidence in court that when Short was crossing the street, he was impaired. Of course, all of these facts and evidence will have to be weighed on and, and a verdict reached by that, those 12 people who sit on the jury. We're here in the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.